Hi, this is Prak Rari Parandi. Today we'll be changing a screen for the iPhone 5. This one is a white screen and it's been dropped on the sidewalk. The digitizer still work, but you know, you'll cut your finger from these. So today what you're gonna need is a new LCD and I have this on sale on my eBay shop. Just look at the below link. What you'll need also is a Phillips screwdriver and a small pencil lobe, okay? So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and actually do the repair. All right, so now with the pencil lobe, you go to the bottom right here and unscrew the pencil lobe. Okay, it's always good to have a, a this is a pill holder, uh, it's really good so you can store all your small screws in here. Alright, so now that you have that open, what we're going to do is use a razor blade. It's going to be at the bottom left of the phone right here. Okay, bottom left of the phone. There's a little lip right there, so you stick your razor blade there, and you can actually see there's a slight lip that you raise. Once you get that there, you can use your fingernails, just run it on the edges, like so. And do the same for the other one, on your fingernails, or you can use a guitar pick. But I find fingernails a little more easier for me. All right, so now we have this lift up. And so what you see here, uh, the f cover for the battery, I mean the uh, connectors, okay? Using the Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove the screws here. Put the screws in the pen in the pill holder. All right. There's three screws. Okay. And push it out. Okay, so now what you need to do is go ahead and loosen it. So, fingernails or a pry tool, just pick it off like this. Okay. So you have that. All right, so what you have, you can see there are still components from the old screen that you need. The old screen component, you'll need the home button right here, the plate, the speaker, and the camera component. But what we're gonna do first is to test this screen to make sure it is working, because some screens you buy online does not work. So go ahead and put the digitizer on. All right, and right there, the LCD. Let's test the connection out. And you can see, this is a great screen. All right, so what we're gonna do is <coughs> transfer all the components to the screen. But before you do that, I would always advise you to disable the battery. So using your screwdriver here, your Phillips, to remove the battery. Not the, the mover battery, it's just disconnect the battery connector. This is the plate to it. This is held down by two screwdriver, two screws. All right, so go ahead and just use your fingernail or a guitar pick just to lift the battery connection right here. It should come off fairly easy right over here all right so it comes off battery is disengaged so now when you work on this you don't have to worry about static so let's go ahead and put this aside what you need now is to transfer the components here all right so we got two of these we're going to transfer this to this to the new one so now what we're going to do 
is we're going to start off with the uh, with the home button. Okay. It's always good to have a heat gun. Uh, if you don't have a heat gun, use a blow dryer. Targeting right here where the two battery connection are, power connection. So the heat loosen will loosen the connectors, and now you have the home button. So press slowly to release the glue. All right, add a little more heat. Go. All right, now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put the power connection back on. Home button right here. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Put the screws back in. If this pops up, what you need to do is just add a little more heat. And it should stay down. For the most part. Alright, what we need now is to take this component here. We're going to take these plates off. So we're going to start from the top. This is the speaker button. Speaker and camera bracket or shield. that up. Alright, this is the microphone and forward facing camera. Add some heat. Okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put the proximity sensor in the right spot and the flex cable. Go ahead and transfer the microphone into the small little hole right here. This hole right here is where the microphone is going into. This microphone goes into this hole. Okay, the camera goes into place. Alright. So what we need to do now is go ahead and put the speaker back to this one here. Actually we're going to wait on that. We're going to go ahead and take the plate off first. There are four screws holding the plate down. Actually, five screws. If you count on the bottom. Okay. Doing this yourself will save you a lot of money because you take this to a repair shop, they're going to charge you about $150, if not more to replace an iPhone 5 screen when you can do it for yourself by yourself in less than 30 minutes. Just watch this video step by step by the screen from me. If you do need the tools, I can include it for free. Just ask for it. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just remove the seal for this one. There you go. I'm just going to put it right here over the other one. And go ahead and set the plate in. Nice. 
All right. Make sure the camera microphones are in place. Go ahead and actually now insert the speaker and this little nozzle right here. This is the speaker hole nozzle. It goes right into the slot. Okay, so make sure you line up and the spring, two spring coil here goes, make sure you touch these two. Alright, now that I have that in place, I'm going to go ahead and put the plate that covers it on top. Okay, put the screws back on. Secure the camera down. The long screws are the top camera secure. All right, so now what I want to do? Put the screws in place, tighten it. All right. You can go ahead and fasten it right here. All right, we'll lock it in place. Okay, now we have five more screws to put in. Bottom plate right here. And then the four screws on the side. This is a magnetic screw driver. Be really a really good tool to have because these tiny screws are really small. Drop it might be hard to find. Alright, so now we put these plates on. Alright, so now we have this all done. What we're going to do is actually transfer this to the phone itself, okay? Alright, so having the connections off, alright, what I'm going to do now is I have a little connector here that wasn't on. Make sure you actually have some kind of tape if this is exposed. Just put clear tape or scotch tape to make sure it's stuck there to prevent it from short circuiting. Okay, so you have now I have this electric shield on here. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the digitizer in place. Digitizer allows it to read the hand movement or finger movement and this is the LCD. Now we're putting in the rear camera or the forward facing camera right here. Okay, so now we need to find a plate to put back in place. Okay, so all right. So let's go ahead and take the plate. Put it back in here. Snap it in place. Okay. Put 
putting the three screws back in here to secure the display. Okay. All right. These screws are like watch screws. They're really small. So make sure you put them all. It's good to have it behind a black background so you can actually track it if you happen to drop it. All right, so now go ahead and put the battery back in, initiate. And here, just snap into place like that. Put the battery cover back on. Okay. Okay, with the battery back in place, what we're going to do is go ahead and secure this. So what you need to do is push down on the lip. There's two, there's two, uh, actually three lips right here. One, two, three. So you want to go ahead and push it down snug, starting from here, and slowly fold it. Use your finger and run it down. Make sure everything fits. Okay, it's going to be a tight fit for this particular one, but it should snap into place just fine. Flip it over to the back. Okay, and so now, as you can see, phone's working perfectly fine. You got a brand new iPhone. Okay, just need to clean off the dust that we have here. And this is Prakra iRepair and D.